Hey Disney fans, it's Tuesday and my cat wants to say hi apparently. Um, if you recall from my last video where I reviewed the July Mickey, I said that regardless of what happened on Tuesday with Mulan, uh, I would post a video. Here's the video. Um, I didn't know at that point if I wanted to get up at 2.30 in the morning and um, chance ordering one online or if I wanted to get up early and drive two hours and kitty butt <laughs> um, risk getting there and being eighth in line so that I would not be able to uh, get in on one of the seven dolls that they had so um, that was a pretty tough decision uh, until Sunday uh, night when I got the flu and had a 101.4 temperature and couldn't sleep and you've all had the flu you know the details of that and it's not fun um yesterday it wasn't much better i had to call off work um couldn't move didn't sleep sunday night at all couldn't get comfortable i was like oh man i really wanted to go to the store because i thought that would have been fun looks like i'm gonna have to get up at 2 30. All day Monday was terrible. Uh, Monday night was terrible. I barely slept. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just get up because I'm not I'm not sleeping. I might as well get up and order one and then we'll just see what happens. And yeah, well, <laughs> oops, I did kind of fall asleep. Um, thankfully, I did wake up at five. Uh, I was able to somewhat muster up some energy, ate a little bit of food because I really hadn't eaten in two days and thought, Let's do this. I'm gonna go. I don't feel good, but I'm gonna go. Um, I really want to try and get a Mulan doll. If I leave now, which it would have been like 5:50, I'll get there at 7:50, and yada yada yada. All will be well, maybe. Uh, people are talking about lining up at 5:30 in the morning at their stores for these. I'm like, the malls don't even open till 8, and even then the stores don't open till 10. What the heck? Um, well, on my drive down. <laughs> Uh, the Lord let loose with rain clouds and it was a torrential downpour for a good hour and a half of the two hour drive. Um, <laughs> I have a little car. My wife drives the big car to call the three kids around. So I drive a little Honda Civic and I'm sitting there, you know, driving, oh my gosh, I'm white knuckling it because cars were going like 75 miles an hour. I actually watched one car go from uh, the lane next to me across, lose control, hydroplane, spin across the median which was grass and then into the other two lanes of traffic going the opposite direction up into a berm so he like literally just he didn't i, I didn't hit him thank goodness no one in the other lanes he's like just fit perfectly right through a bunch of cars and then he spun around and was facing the opposite direction i mean this it was terrible um so i'm like this is just this is a bad omen <laughs> uh there's no way it's gonna happen um got to the mall thankfully and uh, I was, there was no one there. Um, there were some walkers, uh, not, not like, you know, walking dead walkers, but there were people walking. Um, and I thought, oh, well, maybe if I walk a little bit, you know, I needed to stretch my legs anyhow, two hours in a cramp car. Um, maybe that'll kind of wake me up, get some blood flow and I'll feel a little bit better. And I walked for a little bit. I'm like, oh, no, that was a bad idea. I need to sit down, got something to drink at Starbucks, sat down and, and waited. Um, didn't want to sit right in front of the Disney store because I wanted to be a little bit comfortable. Um, and there was a couple of soft chairs a little bit ways away and I thought, well, I'll just sit in one of these and kind of keep an eye on it. Um, so it was about 9.20ish, 9.25ish. Um, I saw someone standing by the door of the Disney store. I'm like, oh no. So I ran, well, I didn't ran, run. I walked over there briskly. Um, and it turned out it was just one of the cast members waiting on the manager to get there to unlock the store. And she goes, ooh, are you here for Mulan? And I'm like, yup. She goes, are you Ian? I said, yeah. She goes, Danny told us about you. She said she was hoping you were gonna come today. Um, she knew you had a long drive and we only got seven dolls. And she goes, if you're the first guest, you'll get one. And I'm like, you know, freaking out, thinking this is awesome. And I thought, well, you know what? There's only a half hour. I can stand in front of the store for a half hour. Um, well, then the manager came and she goes, oh, she goes, we actually have someone to do the opening ceremonies with. That'll be so much fun. And I'm like, I ain't got a clue what you're talking about. Okay. Um, so I'm standing there for a while. And then about 10 minutes later, a couple of guys showed up and I'm like, mm, you're, 
you're not collectors, you're scalpers. I could tell by looking at them. They were not there to take them home to add to their collection. Um, they were even talking amongst themselves about how, oh, you know, if you stand over here and I stand over there and blah, blah, blah. I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Um, so right there, there was three out of the seven. Um, and then two more people showed up. And I was like, okay, uh, that's cool. I'm still here, so yay. Um, and then a couple more people showed up. So we were at the seven. Um, pretty much total and, and a couple more people showed up. I was like, oh no, um, hopefully they remember that I was there first, <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything because it could just be whoever they see that is first in line. Cause even though I was right in front of the store, people stood over here next to me, people stood over here next to me, people stood there and then over there. So we were all just kind of in a clump. Um, I started to kind of sweat a little bit. Um, from where I, my vantage point, I could see the one they had on display in the store, and I'm like, I'll just swipe it. They'll never know, and I'll take it up to the front. Because um, I'd always heard that you know they pass out these little placards that give you the number of, of, of um, customer, and you get that's you know that's the doll you're going to get, and yada yada. But um, you know we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. And one of the cast members came out, she unlocked the big folding doors and then put this giant like key lock thing down with two ropes hanging off of it. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's the opening ceremonies. Huh. Again, never been to Disney store when it opened, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, and then she locked the doors again. And then at 9.59, she came out and she had the little cards with her. And I'm like, oh, that's what those are there. I've never seen one. Most of mine I've either ordered on shopdisney.com or I've had to go through eBay to get, which is horrendous, or a couple of forms on Facebook, which isn't too bad. Normally people don't charge an outrageous amount on there. And she looked right at me, she goes, well, you were here first, so here's card number one. And I was like, oh. <gasps> you know, kind of like inside, get a little schoolgirl almost. Um, Cause I just, I was really afraid that they'd just be like, they'd start at this side of me and work their way over. Um, and they didn't. They knew I was there first. They gave me the card first. They gave the two guys two cards. The other two people two cards. Um, and then I think there were a couple people that didn't get them. Uh, but they still stayed, just in case maybe one of us decided we didn't want it. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then she looked at me and she goes, well, since you were first, would you like to help me open the store? And I was like, sure. She goes, well, I've got a big old lock here. What does it need? And I'm like, a uh, key? <laughs> she goes, well, what do you think it looks like? I'm like, I don't know, a big one because this is a big old lock. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, lady, I'm not a kid. It's cute, but I'm not a kid. Um, well, I am a kid at heart. But again, I know why they do it. They've got to do it for the children. And I really wish my kids would have been with me, um, but they weren't. So they bring out this ginormous key and I, you know, shove it in the lock with the cast member and turn it and the, the ropes dropped and it was kind of fun. And I got this, which is really cool. This is a replica of that store's key. It's like an ornament. So I like it. I think it's kind of fun. Um, I didn't know where the dolls were. Uh, so I walked in the store holding my little number one card and I'm like, I don't know where they're at. <laughs> She's like, they're in the back. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm just following you. So um, I was walking around, of course, I got distracted by everything. There's a big old pile of stitch, which I, of course, had to look at, um, knowing full well that I had one, you know, because I had my card. So I figured, eh, I'm good. Um, well, then the cast member came over to me and she goes, uh, the people who have number two and three would like to check out. And she goes, and we can't check them out until we check out you because you're the first guest. <laughs> and I was like, huh? She goes, it's like they have to scan the card or something. They have to follow rules is what she told me. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll stop looking around to spend more money in your store. <sighs> Apparently those people were there just to buy the dolls and wanted to go home. Who doesn't enjoy time in the Disney store? Oh my goodness. So I walked up there and there was uh, six on a shelf and she pulled down one and I'm like, I'm, I'm not picky as long as she doesn't look ridiculous and the box isn't messed up. I don't care. Cause like I said, I don't care about the number. I don't, that doesn't bother me. Um, as long as the doll's good and the box is good, I'm happy. So she gave me a doll, I paid, and I stayed. <laughs> I stayed just for a little bit longer because I wanted to shop around a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I did grab aside from what we'll look at here in just a moment. 
Um, they were running a special buy one plush, get one for $2. So I got the little sea turtle from Moana because it's cute. It's got the little Heart of the Ocean insignia on it. And you can see here it's the animators collection. Um, and the little art of animation. There's Mula or Moana. Uh, I think they were like $9.95 or something like that. Really cute. Um, just talks a little bit about the, you know, cleaning and care of it. And then I got Stitch. <laughs> because he was too cute to leave there and he was only two dollars and i had to so um i love stitch this this like almost as much as mulan made my day um he is really really cute he is my favorite of favoritest disney characters so there's my two dollar stitch um and then i got my wife a shirt because we are going to disney and she needs a shirt to wear around disney so you guys are actually going to see this before she does Shh. <laughs> it's a stitch v-neck shirt that i thought she would just get a kick out of they're on sale so i'm like uh, so gonna buy one for her uh and she will wear it and then of course mulan so without further ado let's take a quick uh better look at this amazing amazing collector doll all right so first things first here's her certificate of authenticity you can see there it says Disney Mulan Certificate of Authenticity Mulan Collector at all. And I got number 2,949 out of 5,500. So there is the certificate. Now we'll take a look at the box. I think the box is amazing. Um, I love what they do with these boxes. I think they really, they just take the time to make sure that it reflects the uh, culture, the country of where these dolls come from. Like the, the Elsa and Anna dolls are definitely Norwegian in, in character. Um, they, they just, I mean, they just do a really, a really good job. So you can see here, there's a, like a pagoda look almost to the box itself. You see the, the lattice work in gold there. There's like a cherry blossom, which is technically Japanese, but we'll stick with Chinese. Um, motif on the front part of the box there. Disney store insignia. We've got this awesome 20th anniversary Mulan um, little insignia there. Again, there's the Disney Mulan limited edition, one of 55, one of 5,500 out of 55. Whoa, 55, that'd have been scary, wouldn't it have, guys? And then again, in the back of the box, you can see there, um, same cherry blossom motif. I did remove the plastic cover um, just to keep the glare down. It's basically a replica of all of this, only in white on plastic um, with some little, uh, doodads um, yeah. and Mushu I just turned around and looked at it I will show you that because that's pretty cool so there you can see Mulan and Mushu so that's pretty neat um, the sides of the box let's turn her around here carry on that same uh, pattern and motif with the cherry blossoms and the pagoda and the lattice work the back of the box I will pause or I'll hold it here in case you guys want to pause it it does say Disney Mulan and then it talks about the doll. So if you want to pause it here, you can. And then at the bottom, it does say certificate of authenticity and display stand included. Uh, all the goodies about all the copyright stuff and all that stuff. And then the price. So made in China, 119 bucks in USA and then $150 in Canadian, which I just think is crazy. But anyhow. Let's go ahead and get the front cover of the box off so that we can get in and look at the details of this doll. All right, so now that we have the front sleeve off, we can get in a little closer here. We'll take a look at Mulan's face. Um, she doesn't look exactly like the character. Um, a lot of them don't, I don't think. I mean, Elsa and Anna are probably the only two that really, really look like, I mean, I guess in my opinion, um, the characters, the rest of them resemble, or at least you know that's who they are. Um, so it's okay. I mean, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't look exactly like Mulan. It's close enough. Uh, she does have rooted eyelashes, which you can see there. Rooted hair, which on both sides of her head comes down in a twisted braid. Looks like to be about to, yeah, right to about her waist. She does have the um, emblem around her neck that she does wear in the movie. Her kimono has gold embroidery on a lot of the layers. You can see there on the sleeve portion around the collar and the neck. Um, she has long, draping, billowing sleeves on both sides. 
Um, her, the belt portion has a neat uh, overlay on it. Um, there's some beadwork down here with some tassels and little medallions and some beadwork there too, you can see. All plastic, of course, but still. She is holding the sword of, I think was it Fan Yu, I think was the guy's name, the Hun that she destroyed with fireworks, which, what a way to go, holy smokes, getting blown up by fireworks. Um, and then she also has these poofy sleeve portions, or maybe it's coming from the obi in the back, I'm not quite sure. Um, it's like a tool material, um, but it's got a gold overlay that has just a beautiful floral motif. It's got Mushu on it. It's got little crystals in the same gold color. Lotus flowers all the way down. And this is on both sides. So you can see there, and those little crystals catch the light just ever so perfectly. And then in between, there is um, a draping portion of her belt that has gorgeous gold embroidery. Same little jewels. And at the bottom, it has this fun little beaded fringe um, with looks like like a burnt orange and then little red beads in it. So very, very, very detailed, very well done. Um, kudos to Disney. They really, really took the time to uh, plan this one out and design a fantastic collector's doll. So um, that is Mulan, guys. I am so glad I was able to uh, get in on this one. Um, thrilled beyond reason that I was guest number one. I wish they would have let me keep my little placard. They didn't, um, but life goes on. Um, I did try and look, and it's kind of hard to see. She is wearing like little black um, flats. Yeah, you can kind of see them right there. I'm not gonna cut it because the little the little ties there. I don't I don't need to see the shoes. I know some people are really interested in the shoes, but um, yeah. So there it is, guys. There is Mulan. Uh, thanks for tagging along. I'm glad that this video had good news. I was so afraid that I'd have to come to you saying I wasn't able to get her, um, but I was, and I believe she is now sold out. I know my store sold out. The other two Ohio stores sold out. Um, I know that online she is gone. Um, she was available when I got up at five something. Um, she was available for quite a while, actually. I think even up until when the store opened and then she sold out while I was in the store, not only in the store, but also online. So if you were able to get her, congratulations, guys. Um, it's, she's beautiful. If you ordered her online, um, hang tight. It is worth the wait. She is amazing. Um, if you weren't able to get her, I am so sorry. I hope, I hope you can get a good deal on her either through one of the Facebook forums. There's one that I go to for everything. It's called Limited Edition Disney Dolls go there guys fantastic group of people uh, the admin always posts the link immediately as it comes up on there so people can order right away um you know get on there people are always selling their collections on there it seems like it a really good deal um, newer ones i think the rule is it has to be sold uh, just a fuzz above retail that way everyone is getting a fair price on them so if you weren't able to get her and someone's already selling her you never know there might be one out there that you can afford. So if you can get in on it, guys, you will not regret this one. She is amazing and was worth the three month wait. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for today. I am dog tired. I'm gonna go lay down for a little bit. Uh, I need to rest up and recoup because I gotta go back to work tomorrow um, and I need to feel better for that. So thanks again. And if you did like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and the notification button. We do try to post a video once a week on Saturdays. There will be times like today where there'll be something midweek um, that's kind of special, like the release of this amazing doll. Um, otherwise, like I said, it'll always be Saturday. We do all kinds of fun stuff, whether it's reviewing limited edition dolls or other um, Disney toys, blind bag openings, and all such of things Disney. So anyways, y'all have a magical day and we'll see you soon.